The sun load sensor is found on many late model vehicles. They are also referred to as the ambient light sensor. It is a sensor that is referenced by body computers when deciding the optimal running light and air conditioning operation. This part is found mostly on the tops of the dashboard, near the bottom of the windshield, or on the back of the rear view mirror. This gives it an optimal view to absorb incoming light. Some manufacturers accomplish different tasks out of this part, like interpreting the amount of sunshine that is around and where the sun is in the sky. This information is then processed by either a body computer or similar module, and then the appropriate output is executed, turning on running lights or adjusting air conditioner settings. Most of these sensors come with two to six wire connectors that vary due to the complexity of the system. For instance, the 2007 Lincoln MKZ ambient light sensor has four wires. Two of these are for driver and passenger sun load sense, one is for auto lamp sense, and the last is for ground. The 2014 Chevy Silverado has a six wire connector because Chevy integrates a security indicator, inside air temp, and sentinel delay signal wire into the connector. The 2012 Toyota Camry operates its sensor on a 12 volt clocked power supply through the HVAC control module. This sensor uses a pulse signal for data identification and transferring the sun intensity measurement. This voltage varies between 0 and 4 volts. These types of sensors operate on a similar basic idea. The amount of light present changes the voltage that is sensed. This change in signal voltage indicates to the computer what running light function should be utilized. The 2014 Chevy Silverado operates in a 0 to 5 volt range, where reading between 2 to 3 volts means nighttime, and 3 to 4 volts means daytime. Toyota provides a great diagram that is to be compared to when scoping out the sense wire. It also states, if the ambient light becomes brighter, width A will become narrower. These are the data display screens for the 2014 Chevrolet Silverado. You can see the bottom display shows the ambient light status, either being night or day. Above that is the ambient light sensor value. Light from the cell phone LED is being applied to the sun load sensor. The fluorescent shop lights are not registering through the sensor, so it gives a night reading. Moving the light like this really demonstrates how the, the sensor is working, uh, changes the voltage value and the display on the graph. Shining the phone directly on the sensor like this mimics the sun being out and bright. You can see here that the uh, ambient light sensor status just flips today. Uh, the light signal was at about 4.1 volts when that happened. Exterior lights turned off as well. And the range has extended from 2 to 4.1 volts. The 2008 Lincoln MKZ has the sun load sensor in the middle of the dashboard. First the sensor was exposed to shop light, then covered by a book. This book blocks the incoming light and then the computer switches into night mode. Then a phone LED is placed and moved around the sensor to get it switched back into daytime mode. Uh, varying voltages can be seen graphed out. Diagnosis of these sensors is straightforward. A voltage test or resistance test to the pins on the connector can give good information. Toyota gives specs on their six pin connector for voltage and resistance testing. BMW connects their sensors on a KCAN network and can do a reference on the current data against previous entries for a self test or be accessed by OBD2. A good way to verify operation of this sensor is to use a phone LED, incandescent light bulb, or some sort of light, preferably not fluorescent, to test and observe the output of the sensor. Or you
you can block the sensor if the sensor has already been exposed to sunlight. But these will only work if the headlight switch is set to auto. Overall, these are simple sensors that can have various uses to manufacturers.